Have you read it? I've read it. Have you read this? He's read it. Let me read it to you. We've, We've read, read it. it. <laughs> Let's get rid of Jim Hacker by John Pilgrim, our special investigator. The Right Honourable Jim Hacker, MP, promised to carry out the government's pledge to slim down the civil service and to wipe out the interference from the Whitehall and Town Hall busybodies. But how many people realise that, to take just one example, more people serve in the inland revenue than the Royal Navy? It's true. I believe it is, Minister, yes. Perhaps the government thinks that a tax is the best form of defence. Oh, that's rather witty. <laughs> <laughs> and have you read this bit? I have read it. I have discovered that no less than four ministries check the supply of the same army uniforms. The Ministry of Defence checks to see they get what they ordered. The Department of Industry checks to see they have been manufactured according to government regulations. The Treasury checks the bills and Jim Hacker's mob just checks up on everyone else. <laughs> Jim Hacker is the most obvious case of overmanning in Whitehall. Let's start by getting rid of him and saving at least one salary. Frank, why did you read me that? I told you I'd read it. <laughs> because I'm your political advisor. Do you realise how politically damaging this is for you? Good morning, Minister. Good mm. morning. Have you read this? Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> I have read it. I have read it. You have read it. He has read it. We have all bloody read it. <laughs> I make myself clear. Abundantly, Minister. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sit down. Bernard. Humphrey, we have got to slim down the civil service. How many people have we got in this department? Uh, this department? Oh, well, very small. Small? How small? Oh, I don't know. Um, Two thousand? Three thousand? Um, about twenty-three thousand, I think, Minister. <laughs> twenty-three thousand? In the Department for Administrative Affairs, twenty-three thousand people just administering other administrators? Mm. We'll have to do a time and motion study, see who we can get rid of. Uh, we did one of those last year, Minister. And? It transpired we needed another 500 people. <laughs> <laughs> However, Minister, we could always close your bureaucratic watchdog office. Oh, no, you don't. I've only just opened it. It's the one thing I've done since I got here. Well, as you wish, Minister, but it has been criticised as a troublemaker's letterbox. Yeah, I know. It's very popular with the voters, Humphrey. Gives them the chance to help us find ways to stop wasting government money. The public doesn't know anything about wasting government money. We're the experts. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> well, the bureaucratic watchdog office stays. Well, offhand, I can't think of what else to suggest. Are you seriously telling me that there is no way we can cut down? Well, I suppose we could lose one or two of the tea ladies. Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> Do wish you'd take this seriously. Tea ladies. I want the facts. I want to know who works here, what they do, what buildings we have, what goes on in them. A complete record. Then we'll know where to cut costs, cut staff, cut procedures. The Civil Service Minister exists to implement legislation enacted by Parliament. As long as Parliament continues to legislate, the Civil Service must continue to... However, I'm fully seized of your requirements, Minister, and if you'll excuse me, I'll go and set the wheels in motion. Thank you. Morning, Mr. Weasel. Weasel. <laughs> Did you know that a Northwest Regional Controller has achieved cuts of £32 million in his region alone? And that the civil service is suppressing the whole story? Is this true? Well, if it is, I'm aghast. Well, why are they suppressing it? Because if he can save money, everyone else will have to do it. Why don't you look into it? Have a bit of a ferret around. <laughs> <laughs> do you think I could? I think that's a very good idea, Mr. Ferret. Uh, weasel. 